What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial video. Glad to be with you again and glad to be doing another video. I know it's been once again quite a while, but I'm still working on trying to fit in a good schedule that allows me to upload regularly for everybody. So hopefully that will come into fruition soon. But getting right to the point, in this video we're going to be going over the new physical dragger mode that you can find in your modeling tab and your home tab because those are where your tools are. It's a part of the tools section or tab area in the home and model tab. But you can change your mode, you can't do it in test mode, but if I exit out of here, you can go to your mode and change it to physical. And in this video, this physical mode is going to correlate with the constraints that we've been going over for the past, I think it's been like three weeks now. And uh, yeah, this physical dragger mode that's gonna align with everything physics related. So all the constraints that we've been going over, this is gonna introduce you to using that new dragger mode for those. So if you haven't already, I'd recommend going to check out those videos and learning what constraints are, learning the basics of them, getting used to how they work, how they move and stuff like that. I'll leave the links in the description. But now that I've introduced you to what we're going over, let's get right into it. So what we're going to do first is create a model or two made up of constraints so we have something to use for practicing when using the physical dragger mode. I'm going to do two using a spring and a torsion spring and another one using a rope. And after we've made those models, we will be going over finding and using the physical dragger itself as in where you can find it in the UI. I also have two separate models that I've made some time ago that will be serving as an example for multiple constraints being used in a model and how they work together when using the physical dragger mode. Alright, so after we have those models set up and built, we can now switch our modes to the physical dragger mode. To find it, we're first going to hover over to the model tab, and then once we select that and go into the model tab, you'll want to go slightly down and find the tool section. There will be a selection box called mode in that section, and clicking the drop down box will open two options, those being geometric and physical. The geometric one is the default one and that one allows you to move things without worrying about constraints or other properties. And then there's also the new one, physical, which is the one that you will want to select. Once you select it, you'll notice that the colors for the tools icons will change to green and they'll also include a constraint detail icon on the bottom right of each icon. This will be useful in the future for helping you determine if you have geometric or physical mode enabled. So now that we have physical dragger mode enabled, we can start working with it and learning about it. This new physical dragger mode will allow you to basically visualize how each constraint works and moves with the parts it's attached to and how it affects them. So essentially, when you attach a constraint to a part or assign one to another and then switch to physical dragger mode and you decide to rotate or move that part attached to the constraint, it'll move considering what effects that constraint will have on the parts. Basically, this means it'll consider things like if it has limits, meaning that if you were to move it around and the constraint is set to a 45 degree limit, it'd stop at a 45 degree angle when you try to drag, move it, or rotate it. The physical dragger mode really considers all physics related things, another one even being if it's unanchored or anchored. So for example, if it's anchored, you will not be able to move it in physical dragger mode.
Honestly, the most simple and blunt explanation I can provide for you of what's happening is that the physical dragger allows you to see what constraint will do to parts when they're moved or changed in studio without having to actually test it and run a simulation of the game. Though to me that explanation is still a bit vague. So you'll really have to play around with it yourself and that'll help you learn it a lot better, I think. So for instance, if you had a setup where there was an unanchored part constrained to an anchored one by a rope, as shown in the example on the video, and you tried to move it left to right or right to left, it would move based on its limits made by the rope and what it would do if it moved with its current properties. All right, so now that we're at the end of the video, I'm gonna be going over those two models that I mentioned earlier. And these are the ones with the multiple constraints. And I will be using the new physical dragger mode in order to show you what it's like to move a model with multiple constraints around and you'll be able to see how it affects the other constraints in the model. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it for the physical dragger video for this Roblox Studio tutorial. I hope you enjoyed or you learned something today. If you did, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And you could really help me out by sharing the video with all your friends, your family, everybody like that, maybe even your dog, if your dog knows how to use your computer or something. Do whatever you want, but it really helps me. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please make sure to tune in for more tutorials in the future and other videos since I'll be trying to upload on a better schedule. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.